This is how to make a Windows 10 recovery drive to restore your Windows 10 PC or laptop if you have the blue screen of death. So let's plug in our USB flash drive, but I recommend 6 gigabytes to 12 gigabytes. I have a 16 gigabyte flash drive and that is more than enough. So let's check this PC in File Explorer and make sure that it's recognizable within the devices and drives. And I would advise creating a Windows 10 recovery drive when you purchase a brand new laptop or PC just in case it hits the fan. So after this drive is recognized, we can go in and go to google.com or .ca. Let's navigate to Google and install our recovery drive software. So let's type in download Windows 10. Let's click on the first link here. So let's scroll down till you see create Windows 10 installation media. So let's download the tool now and it will download the tool immediately depending on your internet connection. Let's click on mediacreationtool.exe. It'll prompt you with an admin access, so click yes and it will pop up momentarily getting a few things ready. This might take a little bit of time. It pops up with the terms and agreement. Click accept. And what do you want to do? Well, we don't want to upgrade this PC now because it already has Windows 10. So let's create an installation media using a USB flash drive. You can also use a DVD or ISO file for another PC. So let's click on the second option. Click next. Select English Windows 10 64 bit, but that's using the recommended options. So you can deselect and choose what you'd like exactly. Using the recommended options is usually generally the best. Click next. Let's select a USB flash drive and it needs to be at least eight gigabytes, nothing less. Initially it was four gigabytes, but now I think over with all the updates in Windows 10 now, they require at least eight gigabytes. So let's select the first option here and click next. Let's click on our flash drive here and I named it Windows 10 reset but you can name it anything but whatever shows up here click on your USB flash drive. You can also refresh the drive list. Click next and now it's starting to download Windows 10. Now depending on your connection this might take a while. Maybe make sure to plug in an ethernet cord or something to really make this progress bar go quick. You can still feel free to keep using your PC while this is downloading. And this will download the newest Windows 10 software to reset any laptop or PC. So let's speed this up here. And now it will verify your download. And this might take a while. Now it's creating Windows 10 media. And this might take a while. If this was an M1 computer, it would probably take a second. Heh <laughs> 69. Almost done. Okay, well, your USB flash drive is ready and we can click finish to wait for setup. It's cleaning files and it's good to go. So now we can take the USB out, but first let's right click and eject our store and go, aka the F drive and ESD dash USB. And inside is all of what we need to restore Windows 10. Let's eject the drive and let's plug it into the laptop and we can restore a Windows 10 laptop back to its original factory setting. So let's right click safely remove hardware or it could be inside of here and click eject store and go or whatever your drive is named. Now it's safe to remove hardware and we can unplug it. So that's how to create a Windows 10 installation media on a USB flash drive. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.